This, uh, this is a big battery pack. Well, hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit, and today we're gonna talk about big ass battery packs. Let's just put it out there. Today, I've got a really big battery pack I wanna talk about in this box back here, and we'll open that up in a minute. But first, I wanna talk about my obsession with battery packs because I've got a few. So over the years, I've accrued a number of these uh, portable power stations or solar generators. A lot of companies call them either battery packs or solar generators or portable power, whatever. They're all kind of the same thing. Essentially, they're just big battery packs that allow you to have portable power with you at all times. I love these things, and as you can tell, I've got a number of them. So all of these things kind of do the same thing, and really the only differentiation is going to be the capacity of the battery and how much wattage they can supply at their various outputs. Something like this smaller one here has about 100 watt hours of capacity, where this bigger guy here, this one's got about 750 watt hours of capacity, and we'll cover what a watt hour is in a minute. But I just wanted to put this in perspective because all of these smaller power banks, which I used to think were big, pale in comparison to what I've got back here. And, and I wanna show you that now. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to the unboxing. <sighs> this thing, <sighs> oh, that is a little bit heavy. Okay, so what we've got here is the Anchor 767 portable power station or solar generator or battery backup, whatever you, whatever you wanna call it. That's what this thing is. And this is by far the biggest one that I've ever received in the mail. And I'm pretty excited about it. Before I crack into this though, I do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Anchor. And I was happy to do that because I've got a whole bunch of Anchor products around my office and in my backpack for charging my laptop and my phone and all kinds of things. Anchor is a very reputable brand that's been around for a while. They make USB battery chargers and all kinds of power banks. And now they're getting into the market of these massive power banks, which I am really excited about. So when they reached out and offered to sponsor this video, I obviously said yes, because A, I really wanted this thing, and B, why not? I like the brand. So with that disclosure out of the way, we're gonna dive right into opening this thing up and see what it's all about. We're gonna go ahead and just open this thing up uh, because it's a pretty, pretty big box. Oh no, it's a box within a box. I'm gonna have to flip it over. Huh! Oh, holy smokes. This thing, this thing is a beast. Let me warn you right off the bat, if you are one person receiving this thing in the mail, maybe get some help because I am legitimately out of breath uh, from moving this thing around the room in here. It's, it's a pretty heady, heavy device, but it makes sense because of what's packed in here. Another thing I wanna mention before we get into the details of the 767 is that there are other versions of this unit available. If you find this just to be a little bit too big for you, maybe you don't need this much power, there's the Anchor Power 521, the 535, the 555, and the 757, which are all very similar. They're built in a very similar fashion, high quality. Uh, they're just a smaller capacity with less features. But if you're somebody who wants the most power and you demand the most capacity, uh, this thing is where you're gonna wanna be. And of course, if you are interested in any of these Anchor Power options, including the 767, I'll have all of them linked in the description down below, so go check those out. Okay, so let's take a quick walk around the hardware here to see what you get inside the box. The first thing you're gonna notice about this device is yes, it's heavy and large, but one really interesting feature about the Anchor 767 is the inclusion of these wheels in the back. Uh, so this is a really interesting design. I look at this as similar to like one of those coolers that you bring to the beach, because if you notice on the front of the unit here, there's actually a handle that telescopes out and you can use this to carry the unit around by dragging it behind you. And the wheels actually do feel really robust. They feel like they've got a sort of a soft touch rubber texture to them. And then the handle also feels really robust as well. It extends out about I don't know, two and a half, three feet, and that'll give you leverage so it won't feel so heavy if you're moving around a parking lot or through a campground or something like that. Another thing I noticed about the Anchor 767 as soon as it came out of the box is how well it feels built. Like, it's really solid feeling. Everything feels like it's one piece. It actually might even be one piece. 
I noticed that all the moldings really lock together well, and it feels like, even though it's very heavy, that if you drop this thing, it would probably survive, maybe with minimal damage. Now let's talk about the battery capacity on this unit, because that's really where this thing shines. This is a huge battery. This is 2,048 watt hours. Now, if you don't know what a watt hour is, consider it as a measurement of how much time you can use this device for. So if you have a one watt light bulb, you could use that one watt light bulb for 2,048 hours, all the way up to the max rating of these AC outputs of 2,400 watts. That is a lot of power, and we'll talk about more later in this video. And the really cool thing about this unit is that if 2,048 watt hours is not enough for you, you can actually expand the capacity all the way up to 4,096 watt hours. And to do that, there's actually a port uh, on the back of the unit here, down at the bottom. There's a rubber flap that you can pull open, and there's a big chunkin four port connector that allows you to connect this unit to an expansion unit that would, you can seat right on top of the 767. Now, personally for me, 2048 watt hours is more than enough for my use case uh, because I'm really gonna be using this for car camping around the house, around the studio. I like to have portable power where I can put things, use power tools. I can set up my lights somewhere and use this thing or even bring it along on a road trip for charging my laptop and my drone and my cameras. This thing could stay in the car and be my sort of do it all power solution. Okay, finally got this thing powered up. I just plugged it into the wall quickly to get it powered on. And you can see on the front display here, it's now showing 27% of charge. This front display will also show you additional details like your input and output wattage if you're charging and using the device at the same time, which you can do. So over on the right-hand corner, there's a couple of buttons. We've got a power button that just really turns off the display on and off. Below that, we've got a Bluetooth button, and we've also got a power saver button. Another really cool feature to this 767 is up the top here, this white stripe is actually a flashlight, and you can tell if I go into the highest power mode, it's actually a pretty bright flashlight, and I can assume that this would be really useful for car camping or being outside of an RV or even in a power outage when you're, uh, you've are you got no lights on in your house and you've got this thing going, it'd be pretty sweet to have this going at the same time because you could charge your laptop and have some light going simultaneously. Okay, now that we've talked about the display and some of the buttons up here, let's talk about the outputs which are at the bottom of the unit here. Starting on the left, we've got AC outputs. We've got four AC outputs. And if you're here in America like me, these outputs will look very similar to your wall outlets that you have around your house. The really impressive thing about the inverter inside of this unit is that it's rated for 120 volts and up to 20 amps. That's 2,400 watts of max capacity here coming out of these outputs. And that's a lot of wattage for a battery bank like this. And I'll show you some examples of what this thing can power later in this video. And next to that is a really unique connector. This is a TT30R, and this is a 30 amp rated output. This is designed for RVs and campers and things like that. But you don't, you'll also find these on transfer switches to houses. If you wanna power your entire house, if you've got a smaller house and you wanna power it by battery, this is an option for you where you've got this TT30 output. I personally don't really have a use for the TT30R, T30R output, but it is a really interesting feature if you are an RV camper or something like that. Next to that TT30R is going to be your cigarette lighter or uh, car style outputs. These are rated at 12 volts and you can plug in any 12 volt accessory that you could plug into your car will also plug into this unit and can be powered from here. And then finally, all the way on the right here is your variety of USB ports. So you've got two USB type A ports, which are rated for about 10 watts each. And then you've got three USB C ports, which are rated for 100 watts per port which is really impressive for me because I've got a MacBook Pro and a drone that can charge via USB Type-C. And what that means is if I travel with this unit, I can plug my laptop and my drone batteries and my tablet directly into this unit without needing a wall wart using the AC ports over here and getting near full charging capacity on my MacBook and my drone batteries and things like that. So those are all the output ports on the 767. Now let's take a look at some of the input ports, which are on the back of the unit. Right around here. And you'll notice there's a little access panel here that you can flip down and that'll give you access to all the input. So starting on the left here is your solar panel input. And this is a 
XT60 connector. This is a specific type of connector that's commonly used in the solar world, which I'm not too familiar with, but I am familiar with this port because I've seen it before on some of my other solar generators. So this solar input, even though it's a really small connector, the yellow one here is rated for up to a thousand watts of input. So you can have a thousand watts of solar panels feeding directly into this unit to charge it up throughout the day in the sun. So you basically have a topped off battery all the time. To get to that thousand watts of input on the solar panel, you will need to use the included hub. This is a hub that comes in the box and this allows you to connect up to five separate solar panels at a time and have one output into the XT60 connector on the unit itself which will allow you to have five solar panels feeding in. So you can have five 200 watt solar panels into this one connector to get a thousand watts of input. This XT60 hub seems really well made. However, I did watch a review by somebody named Will Prowse, I think his name was, uh, who covers a lot, a lot of these battery powered devices. And he had some concerns about the XT60 hub that's included in the box because these terminals are all wired together. So if you have a solar input, these all become live and could potentially shock you if you have enough voltage going through here. I haven't tested this myself. This is just a word of caution from that other video I've seen on YouTube. And if you're interested in Will Prowse's review of this unit, I'll link it somewhere on the screen or down in the description below. Another use of this XT60 input is that you can also use the included car adapter, which comes in the box, and you can plug this into the solar connector and plug this into your car. And while you're driving, you could be charging this unit up and keeping it topped off. That would be a great scenario for somebody who has like a van life setup or a car camping setup, and you just want this in the car while you're traveling and want to take it out when you get home and maybe you don't want a permanent solution, now you've got that option with this car adapter setup. So in the middle of this input panel, there is a little circuit breaker button. This is to reset the circuit breaker if you overload it by chance. And then all the way on the right is a three prong power input. This is an AC power supply. And what I like about the AC power supply is that it's not proprietary. It's one of these standard uh, off the shelf kind of three prong situations you get here in the USA. And these you'll see on the back of computers and TVs and monitors and things like that. You also can use it on your 767 as well. Now, the great thing about this AC input is that it's rated for a whopping 1,440 watts, which means you can charge this unit in as quick as two hours at your house. So if you have this plugged into an AC supply that can give it all 1,440 watts, you'll be there for under two hours and you'll be at 100% of charge. Okay, now that we've talked about the inputs and outputs and how everything works, I wanna talk about some of the technology that Anchor has put in here. The first thing is that they've put their GAN Prime technology in here, which stands for something gal nitrate, gal, I don't know. It's a fancy kind of battery technology that is ultra efficient. It provides a fast charging system. Like I said, you can charge it in about two hours. It means it's very efficient in its cooling. So that's the EcoFlow Delta. And down here, I don't know if you can tell the difference, it's the Powerhouse 767. The fan on the powerhouse is way quieter. This GAN Prime technology provides efficiency when it's charging at a 96% charging rate, which is apparently way far and above most of the industry, which is around 88 to 91%. Another huge advantage to this battery pack, the 767 as compared to some of the competition, is that they used LFP or Life PO4 batteries, which are lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is a newer technology than some of the older lithium ion batteries. It's safer in various temperatures, so you can be in pretty hot environments or pretty cold environments and not have to worry about the battery pack. It's got a way longer lifespan. You get 3000 cycles on this unit. That means you can fully deplete the battery, which is a lot of battery, 3000 times and still be able to use the unit and it comes with a five year warranty on the batteries inside the unit. That means they're pretty confident in their claims. Another thing to keep in mind is with those Life PO4 batteries, you can expect a 10 plus year life expectancy from this unit because of that battery technology. Okay, now let's walk through the smartphone app and see what this can do. Uh, to do this, I had to go ahead and hold the Bluetooth button on the front of the unit and it immediately showed up in the Anchor app on my phone. You can see the 767 Powerhouse is available. So I'm gonna go 
ahead and click on that. So right off the bat, after I paired the device to my phone, you can see right at the top, it shows the Anchor Powerhouse 767 has 27% battery capacity and it's currently at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So it tells me the capacity and the temperature right at the top there, which is pretty cool. Below that, you can see my inputs. So there's DC input and AC input for charging. If I had it plugged in right now, you would see those and it would show you in real time how much your battery was getting charged. And then below that, you've got all of your outputs. You've got your AC output, all the USB outputs and the carport all separately and the nice thing is I can click on these and actually turn them on and off remotely from my phone so if I've got lights plugged into all the connections on the front here I can turn them on and off right from my phone and I don't have to go over and manually turn lights on which is pretty cool you've also got full control over the flashlight in the app so I can click in the app and turn it on I can turn it off and it's like instant it's really, there's no lag when I click the button. So right from the dashboard within the app, I've got a full look at all my inputs and outputs. I can turn everything on and off and I can also control the flashlight, which is pretty cool. And if I click on the cog icon up in the corner, I can also go into the settings and adjust it even further. So right at the top, I can actually set my AC charging power. Now this is important because by default, it's set for 1,440 watts. However, if you're in a situation where you've got an AC plug, but that plug is not rated for over a thousand watts. For instance, if I wanted to charge this big battery with this small battery, the inverter in this smaller battery is not rated for that much wattage. So I would have to dial this down and I can actually do this in the app by clicking on the AC charge capacity and I can scroll back all the way down to 200 watts, which this thing could easily handle. And the final topic I wanna to mention here before we go and start testing this unit is going to be the price point. This is not an inexpensive expensive power supply. This is a pretty expensive unit, but that's because of its huge capacity. And honestly, if you compare the price of this unit to something like an EcoFlow or a similar model, you will find that this is more bang for your buck. So this unit comes in at $2,000 here in the USA. However, at the time of filming this video, Anchor does have a special spring sale going on that will save you $200 on the Powerhouse 767. So check out the link in the description down below if you're interested in that. But like I said, it is not cheap, but it is very powerful and well-made. Okay, now that we've talked about all the features and the hardware of the Anchor Powerhouse 767, let's take this thing out to the garage to see what it, what, what it can actually power because I'm really interested to find out. All right, now we are down in my basement, and as you can see, I've got my Nordic Track X11i treadmill on and powered, and it's currently at a very low speed. All right, we are up to 12 miles per hour on the Nordic Track, and you can see that we're not even putting a dent on the inverter here. We're at 530 watts of output. So as you can see, just about everything I've thrown at this unit from circular saw to heat gun, to toaster, to TV, to even my server rack, was powered by the Anchor Powerhouse 767 with ease with zero issues. Thanks to that 2400 watt max capacity on the AC ports, uh, that's really impressive and should be capable of powering just about anything in your home or even on the job site if you're using this thing in more of a professional environment. Okay, that's really it for this video. This is just a quick overview of the Anchor Powerhouse 767 and what I think about it so far. Like I said, I do wanna give a big shout out to Anchor for sponsoring this video and sending this unit out for review because I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to do more testing with it down the road. So stay tuned for follow-up videos on that. I'll probably post something in the future. And now I wanna hear from you. Are you interested in a battery bank like this? Do you need something with 2000 watt hours of capacity or are you just gonna get something a little bit smaller? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and what your use case is. Like my use case with this is really from a content creation and plugging in my laptop and cameras and stuff, but I'd love to hear what you're doing with these types of units. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Like I said, if you're interested in one of these units, check out the links in the description down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you found this video helpful or fun. And uh, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.